Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. The WTA is rebranding. They have launched a new logo, redefined tournament categories, and unveiled a new ad campaign. It's another step in aligning the ATP and the WTA. Here's a look at that new logo with a player poised to serve, more dynamic than the old logo. But the makeover is about more than just logos. It's part of an attempt to align more closely with the ATP Tour, as the WTA also is adopting the same tournament titles. Earlier this year, Roger Federer supported Billie Jean King's longtime quest to explore an ATP-WTA merger. In a social media post, Federer said a combined tour would create clarity and eliminate confusion for fans. He says that right now it's all a bit too confusing for the fans with different ranking systems, different logos, different tournament categories. The new changes have eliminated premier and mandatory tournament titles and now will share the same tournament tier system as the ATP. Starting in January, WTA events will now be categorized as WTA 1000, which incorporates the former Premier Mandatory and Premier 5 tournaments, WTA 500, which were formerly Premier 700 events, WTA 250, formerly called International Tournaments, and WTA 125, which rebrands the previous 125K series. The WTA CEO Steve Simon told TennisMajors.com, the rebranding is a sign of deeper cooperation between the two tours, saying it's much better when the two work together. And he says we are going to see more of this in the future. If the tours eventually unify, they could benefit from a shared schedule, not just with the four Grand Slams, but also the very popular 1,000 level tournaments like Indian Wells, Miami, Madrid, Rome, Canada, just a few of those, very popular. But is true unity the goal? Steve Simon admits to many challenges, but says it is the right thing to do. And if you think about it, a merger could make for a much better TV product with top men and women at the same events. And that's especially important now as tournaments play either without fans or with reduced crowd capacity. So do you like the idea of a merger or would you like the two to stay separate? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll see you next time.